Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. Happy Valentine's Day. Please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our moment of silence. You're standing, pushing in your chair, placing your right hand over your heart, facing the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our moment of silence. Boys and girls, have a seat. It is now time for our wildcat roar. I will be respectful and I will stay on task. I will always stay safe and do what you ask. I will be responsible for what I say and do. And as long as it is up to me, I'll roar and soar with you. Are you ready to roar? Paws up. Ooh, for lunch and a munch today on Wednesday, PB and J sandwich. Uh, you'll be eating with your teachers outside or in your classrooms. I hope you enjoy lunch. And please, let's make sure we're cleaning up after ourselves. Word wizards out there, word of the day. Word lavish, spending or giving freely. Lavish. The family lavished their mom with gifts on Mother's Day. So anytime you spend freely, you might say lavishly to boost and enhance your vocabulary. Our skill that we're looking at is author's purpose. Why? What is the intent of the passage, article, or book that I'm reading? If it's to entertain or express, some of the things you might look for or hear about are what there's talking animals, once upon a time, rhyming, like in poems, usually there for entertainment purposes, jokes and humor, a lot of dialogue, that's quotation marks and talking, story elements, mystery and suspenseful, if there are imaginary characters, cartoons, exaggerations, hyperboles, which is a form of exaggeration and figurative language, similes, metaphors, you name it, you're looking for those things. Those are usually part of the entertainment purpose when someone writes. They're trying to inflict some sort of emotion. Habit three, putting first things first. Work first, then play. Make sure you do everything you need to. Spend the time on things that are most important. Today is an early release day and it is AR night. So you have a lot of extra time at home. Maybe you want to work on your goals for AR. At WWE, as we roar, so if you are here each and every day this week, you do not have any trips to timeouts, no long forms, no bus conducts, you'll get to participate in Fun Friday. Yay! February, keep reading those books. The more you read, the more tickets you earn, and hopefully you're selected. It's a random prize drawing, so every chance you have, you want to take it. So read the more stories, you'll get to go to Chuck E. Cheese. It is Black History Month, the month of February, and today we're going to talk about Barack Obama. He became the first African-American president of the United States. President Obama has made great changes for equality during his time in office. He dropped the homeless veteran rate by 50% and he signed the Hate Crimes Prevention Act. He improved school nutrition with the Healthy Hunger Kids Hunger Free Kids Act. So yay, Barack Obama being our first African-American president, paving the way for many more to follow. Snack sale. Second grade selling snacks in Mr. Vo's room after two o'clock. Bounce, bounce, bounce. All right. If you want to go to the bounce houses, it's in a little bit over a month away. You got to earn your way towards those goals. So keep that in mind. By the end of this week, kindergarten, you need seven, first grade 12, and second and third 16 points to stay on track to meet those above and beyond goals. Friday, get ready, third grade. Seven questions every seven days. Seven names will be drawn. 
It is AR night tonight, so make sure you're participating. We have early release. You should be home by 1 o'clock, and you could start working your way and boosting up your AR points. There are some great read-alouds on the media page. I shared some wakelets. There's my on project, so keep that in mind. Tonight's the night. Um, If you're busy right after school, it is open until 8 o'clock, so from 1 until 8 o'clock, and then we'll do our prize raffle drawings of all that participated on Friday morning's announcements. When do I find out who won? Friday. So love a book tonight. Read a book with your family. Yeehaw, boys and girls. Those projects for the Sumter County Fair are due by next Tuesday. I know here it says the 19th, but they're actually due. We're closed on Monday, so it's Tuesday the 20th. Get those in. If you have them done already, you could go ahead and start bringing them in. Make sure your name's on it, your grade level, and your teacher's name for those fair projects. I am so excited. Miss Brown's been talking about the I ready. I ready for ice cream. Are you? The ice cream extravaganza is going to be happening on Thursday for our K-1 and Friday for our second and third grade students. So if you met those A- uh, I ready challenges by the principal, then you'll be ready for your ice cream party. I love a good cream cream party. Oh, boys and girls, the Badgers are giving you a little wave. Oh, they see you. Give them a little wave back and let's sing our library song together. Come in quiet, come in quiet. Beep your book, beep your book. Put them in the bin, put them in the bin. Think what color, think what color. Find more books, find more books. Then check out, then check out. Scan your badge and book, scan your badge and book, quiet out, quiet out. Tell me something good. Oh my goodness, attendance awards winners. Congratulations, kindergarten Miss Hodges class. First grade, Miss James's class with Miss Dixon. Way to go, students, for coming to school. Second grade, way to go, Miss Cooper and your class. Third grade, Miss Lippum and Miss Eisenhower's class. Congratulations on your um, attendance war winners. And in our multi-grade classrooms, most attendance, way to go, Miss Poole's class. Overall best attendance in first grade. Congratulations, students. Our joke of the day comes from Faith. What did the painter tell his girlfriend? What did the painter tell his girlfriend? You're a work of art. <laughs> work of art from the heart. It's your birthday today. Yay. Happy birthday, Dora. We're so glad you were born. Edward Royce, happy birthday to you. Bernardo Silva, happy birthday. Miss Bethay, happy birthday. And Miss Shiflet, lots of people born today. We are so glad. We hope you have a great time celebrating. Everybody keep waking up, being awesome. Go to bed. Repeat that great process. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. It is Valentine's Day, and I got a little Valentine's Day song for you. I'm a teeny tiny Valentine for you. I'm a teeny tiny valentine for you. I'm a teeny tiny valentine. I'm not too big and that's just fine. I'm a teeny tiny valentine for you. I'm a medium-sized valentine for you. I'm a medium-sized valentine for you. I'm a medium-sized valentine. I will love you all the time. I'm a medium-sized valentine for you. I'm a great big valentine for you. I'm a great big valentine for you. I'm a great big valentine. I will love you all the time. I'm a great big valentine for you. Happy early release day and happy Valentine's Day.